We will look at how to host an HTML website on Windows Azure. Now I am looking to host a very simple website which contains an index page and an image. I will just open and show this to you. Now first thing we need to do is actually to log on to the portal first. Now what I need to do is on websites, create a website iedudb I'll just click on create a website now you can see that the subscription here is free limitation is you cannot point a domain to this particular hosting as you can see the website is already created if I click on the URL it displays the default page now let us upload the content of our website onto this portal now let's look at how we can do that we need to configure the FTP you have the host name but I don't have any FTP users okay for the FTP to work we need the host name username and password so let's go ahead and set up the user first. I'll just click on deployment credentials. Okay. So you can see that my FTP username is iedudb slash edudb and the password is what I have set earlier. Now I have opened up my FTP client and I'll configure this client for transferring the files I will use uh, the standard FTP I will just need to copy this the username and password let's type in the password click on OK I click here Alright, I can see that I am logged in and uh, I have two followers here. I will click on sites. Now I will need to put the file on root folder. Drag and drop. So my files are uploaded. Now let's go back to the iedudb.assurewebsite.net the, the subdomain that we have created let's click on refresh now you can see that the new uploaded file is being shown the so hosting you can see it is a very simple thing all you need to do is sign up with Windows Assure the video for signing up is already available you can just create a website you can upload your files using the FTP and uh, uh, right now the demonstration is only with HTML files uh, web applications developed using web APIs web applications developed using MVC and it will work really fine thank you uh, if you have any questions please feel free to send me a mail you can visit our websites .NET for beginner MVC for beginner Windows Azure for beginner as well as you can uh, join the forums there are a lot of good people out there who are willing to help you thank you